What's up everybody, Arg the Pirate here, and today we're going to play a little Slaughterhouse Chalk in the Solo Lane. Now, I'm definitely not the best in the Solo Lane, but we have a great game. But it's Saturday, guys, so it's time to do that giveaway. Fatal Saint 1911, congratulations, my dude. Get with me on Discord or within Smite, and we'll get that code to you. Now, if you want to enter in to win a code, I'm doing a giveaway every Saturday for the next four weeks. The next three will be code giveaways for skins, and then that last Saturday, I'm giving a god pack away. If you want to enter, just enter your Smite name below, add me on Smite, and boom, you're entered, guys. <laughs> Congratulations to Fatal Saint again, and good luck to everybody who wants to try out. Now, let's get into the build that I'm going to be using for Chalk. I'm going to start out with Warrior's Blessing, Teleport Glyph, Chalice of Healing, and I'm going to start building towards Breastplate of Valor. Now, I'm not going to pick up Boots in the beginning because I'm thinking I've got a pretty decent escape if I need it. So, Chalk, you know, it's got pretty good sustain, and with those three Chalices, I can get away with not having that movement speed, and, you know, I'm kind of worried about being terrible. So, <laughs> I'm going to build into that Breastplate first. Now, the build that I have in mind for Chalk is Breastplate of Valor, Warrior Tabby, and Keyley, Shifter Shield, and Shogun's, uh, Kaskura, what, Shogun's. <laughs> then we're gonna pick up Blink Rune and have a Chalice of Mana on standby. Guys, I would highly recommend throwing in some wards. I don't use wards, and I need to get better at it. But I would highly recommend throwing on some wards. And then I don't have a sixth item in mind because... You know, I was just kind of winging it, but this is the idea that I have for this build. Let's briefly go over his abilities. First, we have Overflow. Now, this is his passive, and after five basic attacks, your next ability costs zero mana. Now, this is this is a huge sustain mechanic. When you're in lane, getting free abilities, that's, that's huge. Thunderstrike is his number one, and Chalk throws his X forward, dealing damage in an AoE. Next, we have Torrent. Now, Torrent Chalk spins in a circle, dealing damage to all enemies and gains protection for each enemy hit, up to five stacks. If his axe is thrown, he then teleports in a straight line to his axe and spins around where that axe location is. But the forward dash does 50% base damage to all enemies he passes through. So you can use this to damage an entire wave if you're positioned correctly. Chalk's three is Rain Dance. Now, Rain Dance is a AoE summon that gives Chalk health regen, but it also slows the movement speed and attack speed of enemies. If his axe is thrown, it also summons a rainstorm around his axe's location. So, you know, you, you can potentially get quite a bit of slowing effect out of this. Lastly, we have Storm Call. Chalk channels uh, his lightning axe and unleashes a blast, silencing, knocking up, and damaging all enemies around him. While in the air, Chalk has 50% damage mitigation and is immune to crowd control effects. Guys, Chalk's kit is absolutely amazing. And I would highly recommend checking him out if you want to get into the solo lane. Now, one thing before we get into the gameplay, guys, I know I've talked a whole lot in the beginning of this, but... I've had a lot of people ask me what heroes from Paragon are like gods in Smite, and there's just not a whole lot. There, there's, there's really not a whole lot of copy effect going on. It, it, the gods are very unique, and they're set up a lot different. In Paragon, you know, you had a lot of just crazy crowd control, like like someone like Steel. That was just it, all his kit is nothing but you know crowd control and saving lives. You don't really have kits like that. You, There are a couple of heroes that are kind of close, and I would say Chalk is one of them, guys. Chalk is a lot, reminds me a lot of Quang. You throw that, you throw your axe, and then you can teleport to your axe, even though, you know, that teleport was his ultimate. You know, I, I would say that that kind of thing is close to the same. If you were a big Quang player, you might really enjoy Chalk because... You've got that great sustain mechanic. You know, you you aren't as mana hungry as Quang was because you do get free abilities. But yeah, you you throw your axe. You you got to practice throwing that axe and then hitting them with that teleport. It I think he feels very close to Quang, and he's about as close as you're going to get. 
Now, I am planning on coming out with a video talking about the few heroes I think that are alike. Expect that. Uh, I'm going to try to get that out on Monday. So, a lot of y'all Paragon guys, you know, we I, I can compare them. I'm planning on going into Paragon and, and kind of showing off their abilities and then coming back into Smite and kind of showing you why I think they're close to the same. But... I'll work on that. Hopefully, I can get that out Monday for y'all. And, you know, yeah. But <laughs> let's get into this gameplay, guys. Now, it's absolutely huge as the solo lander to just constantly keep your pressure up. Go pick up your buffs when you can. Go pick up that mana buff, which, again, guys, the mana buff is really for the solo laner. So if your jungler is dropping it, try to keep an eye on where your jungler is. You know, my jungler is not really telling me, hey, pick this buff up or anything. And I don't know that he's over there. So, just kind of keep an eye on that. You can see a little green dot on the minimap right beside the buff camp. If that you see that green dot, that means that buff's sitting there waiting for someone to pick it up. Now, I am going in on this guy here, and, and you see we're, we're, we're doing a little bit of work to him, but look at the sustain, guys. We're, we were in the middle of his minion wave there, and uh, he, he he's not doing nothing. <laughs> he's not doing nothing, guys. Uh, he's trying to back. We're going to cancel his back and then we actually go in I, I i don't know why we didn't kill him i i really felt that we should have killed him there <laughs> feels bad man but hey uh we we got close you know we don't have just a whole lot of damage since we are building tanky you know we we currently don't just have a ton of damage but that's going to soon change i'm gonna go ahead and just continue trying to clear this wave you know i i, I really did think my minions were under tower there but no problem we're going to clear that wave up. I'm going to head back to my jungle, head back to base. You know, there's no sense in being pushed up that far. Especially since I know Tyr is going to be back in lane shortly. I don't want to be there. I'm going to head back, put on Warrior Tabby, start building into power so I can actually kill the guy when I get him down to 3 health. Now from here, I'm going to head to my mana camp, and you know, Mercury's here, so we're going to pick it up pretty easily. I still had mine, that was because Mercury dropped it, and it, when you drop it, it puts it on cooldown. And you saw there, you know, we were able to pick it up. Now Mercury, he, a tier goes for an invade, and I, I just didn't see it in time. He's going to end up taking, uh, the enemy tier ends up taking out Mercury. Oh, feels bad, man. I, I was going in on him, but there, there's no, he's got such mobility. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to catch him. And there's no sense in putting myself in a bad position by chasing a kill that I know I'm not going to get. And sure enough, we, we just back off. Now, I'm going to rotate. I, I know Tyr, is, he's either going to back or he's going to have to go deal with his lane. So this gives me a good opportunity to rotate. I'm actually going to head in to mid. And there's this Thoth here. You know, hopefully we can get a little damage on him. We end up getting his Aegis out, which that's that immune, and you know, hey, that that's that's great. We're, we're we did burn our ult for it, but you know, the cooldown on that, maybe we might be able to get a kill on here on him here in a little bit. I'm gonna just kind of go around see what's going on. Uh, our uh Aphrodite uh the uh, Aphrodite I think uh she ends up. You know, kind of going for an invade right there. I think she might have been going for the jungle camp. She gets caught out a little bit, but luckily she is able to get out. I'm going to now rotate to my lane, get my lane pushing in the right direction. You know, the enemy tier, he kind of just let that go. You know, we have already downed his tower. So, you know, hey, that, that that's awesome. You know, we, we've already got that tower downed, and that, that's just great. Now, I ended up, you saw I did my little whirly thing. I, I was actually trying to <laughs> use it on the wave I, I, I you have to get used to hey if your axe is out you're going to teleport to that axe you know that's just something that you have to get used to and you know you 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 will learn it eventually and you know I, I just highly recommend you know keep playing the hero or keep playing the god and you'll eventually you know be able to take him out now mercury comes in for his revenge and you can see guys tier he he's he's pretty tanky but Hopefully, we'll be able to take him out. Mercury uses his ult, gets that stun, and boom, we're able to take him off. Oh, feels great, man. And, you know, from here, we're just going to keep pushing their... Uh, I, I, I forget his name. Is it Odin? I... I I want to say it's Odin. I uh, I can't remember. I need to get better at the names, guys. There's just a ton of gods. So, uh, but the guy with the ravens, 
he's got the speed buff, so he's going to be able to outrun me, but since he's running the way that I need to run anyway, hey, it, why not chase him? Thoth shows up, and, you know, hey, well, they're, they're gonna force us to back. Uh... I, I'm pretty sure that's Odin. Now, Odin's he does have that shield, and you can see him put it on. You know, hey, uh, there's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do under tower. Uh, we didn't have our ultimate, but hey, that's quite all right. Tyr comes in, and, you know, Thoth is here. I'm going to end up ulting behind him, and boom, we hit him with that ultimate. You know, uh, we, we got some damage on him, guys. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. It, Aphrodite, uh, I want to say that's Aphrodite. <laughs> she, she's, you know, she's, she's pushing, uh, she's getting that lane pushed. You know, we're gonna go in, take out these camp, take out this camp. Let's go ahead and try to get her damage camp as well. And you know, my lane's still sitting pretty good. You know, they, they're gonna have to go deal with my lane, or you know, we'll just have a winion wave. So I've really got no reason to be in my lane right now. And you can see there's a huge presence here in mid. So, you know, staying in mid, making sure we're staying safe, that's absolutely huge. Our Mercury ends up showing up, and, you know, hey, well, we should be able to make something happen. Sure enough, he takes out that Odin, and then we end up wrapping up that tier kill. You know, awesome, guys. That was a great rotation on his part. You know, they do have a couple of heroes here now. You know, we, we go ahead and get some poke on that Thoth. Then I'm actually going to teleport in and boom! I, he uses the Aegis again or something. I don't know. He, he had some kind of immune. We weren't able to take him out. I'm tanking tower hits, though, so I got to get out. We did end up securing that kill with our axe, though. Oh, feels great, man. And <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just back out of this situation. Hopefully, my team can capitalize and take down a tower. And sure enough, they're able to get that mid lane. You know, but that, guys, that was a huge play. And, <laughs> oh, man, it feels awesome. Now, once I back and, you know, start working towards that next item, we end up going in on the Gold Fury. Now, one thing I've noticed in almost every game I've played... When the enemy team picks up the Gold Fury, people don't leave their lanes. And if you see, it's the same in this situation. Guys, if the enemy team picks up the Gold Fury and you're pushed up on that side of the map, get out. Because they're definitely there, you know? So, just back up and, you know, see, we have some enemy team collapse, but our team's here as well. We're going to end up just working on this ADC. Sure enough, we're going to be able to take her out. Thoth shows up, and, you know, Thoth, he, he does work, but, hey, we're, we're going to take him out, too. You know, I am getting low, so I need to be careful, but that's quite all right. We're starting to get patched back up. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of staying engaged, but I, I'm, I'm thinking, hey, maybe I'll go back to the solo lane. And, but we end up getting, we end up taking four of them out, guys. It's time to push a tower. Let, let's get the tower down. I'm not exactly sure why my entire team peeled off here. We could have taken this tower very, very easily. And this is the reason I didn't back, guys. It, or, you know, go to that solo lane is because, you know, this was the time to take out a tower. You know, we could have got a very, very easy tower. When you get a quad kill on the enemy team, make sure you push an objective, especially if you're standing right next to one, guys, because that, that, that that's huge. It, it's huge to capitalize on getting those kills like that. And I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not able to do it myself. I've got to get out. I'm going to go ahead and back off, and their Odin shows up. Man, I, I barely get out of this situation, too. Luckily, you know, I do have my escape, and then I've also got Blink, we're able to just blink right out of there, head back to base, and, you know, get healthy. But it is very important as a team, when y'all get to a play like that, push an objective. You know, if you want to go secure the fire giant at that point, that would be the time, but you need to pick up a big objective. Now, tears here, we're going to end up taking tear out. You know, great. That's absolutely awesome. You know, we flipped that fighter. Aphrodite was running, you know, and we, we end up taking them out. You know, that that's great. Flipping that fight, absolutely huge. We're, we're you know, I, I'm feeling pretty confident, guys. I, I, I'm, I, I don't have just a whole lot of kills, but, I you know, the way I've always looked at every MOBA is they're, they're not about who gets the most kills. It's about playing as a team and, you know, getting those huge team plays like what we've been doing it's absolutely massive and you know you can see uh, if you ever watch 
most games, if you watch most games, the team that has the most assists usually win. Not the most kills necessarily, but the most assist because that means every time there's a fight, there's a couple of people rotating and that's what really determines who's going to win. Now, my ADC and my support are very, very close, and the enemy supports here, so we're, we're going to try to see if we can make this engagement happen. I see them not really rotating over, so I'm going to just back off, and I head to mid lane. And you can see there, the entire team's kind of collapsing. Hopefully, our support and ADC head over here, because, yeah, we, we, we definitely need some work. <laughs> but, sure enough, they, they, they head in. Now, th this, this fight is just kind of chaotic. But I want to go in on their backline. Let, let's let's take out their backline. I am pretty tanky, but I, I don't have just a whole lot of damage. But you can see we 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 split that fight up. We kind of got them out of there because you know yeah we're we're going in on the backline. That's forcing their tanks to back off. And when their tanks back off to deal with me, that means my ADCs are shooting them when they're walking away. That's exactly what we want. Odin shows up. Guys, I, I don't even know what happened there, but he got deleted. And then their ADC shows up. We delete her as well. Oh, oh, feels awesome. We're making the plays. We're making the plays, guys. And we should be able to push down this mid lane. You know, there are a couple of enemies here, but with all of us here, they're, they should not be able to stop us. Now, Mercury peels off, so I'm going to take that as a cue of, hey, I'm peeling off as well. And my ADC and mid laner, they kind of stay in, and I see, hey, we, we've got the enemy following. Let's go ahead, head back in. Sure enough, head back in. We tier doesn't stand a chance. We're gonna keep this a. Uh, we're gonna keep this guardian just completely stun locked. Take him out, no problem at all. This is the time to pick up one of these big objectives, like the fire giant, and they end up surrendering. You know, guys, this was this was a really fun match. I. I I know it looks like I'm amazing at solo lane, but I promise I'm not. <laughs> but this was an absolute blast of a match. Chalk is amazing. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this Chalk Guide. If y'all want to get into next week's giveaway, just enter down below, guys, and add me on Smite. That's all you've got to do, and we'll get you in. Well, thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing, add me on Smite, guys, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.